Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a young man named Ravi. Ravi was a bright and intelligent individual, but he had a problem, he was an overthinker. Every little decision or idea would get trapped in his mind, causing him to worry and become anxious. Ravi desperately sought a way to find peace and control over his mind. One day, he heard rumors of a Zen master living in a nearby secluded cave. The Zen master was said to possess great wisdom and had the ability to help people find inner peace. Intrigued, Ravi decided to seek out the Zen master and ask for his guidance. After a long and treacherous journey, Ravi finally reached the entrance of the cave. As he entered, he was greeted by the sight of an old, wrinkled man sitting peacefully on a mat. The Zen master motioned for Ravi to sit down in front of him, and Ravi obliged. Master, Ravi began, his voice trembling with anticipation, I am plagued by incessant overthinking. I cannot find peace within my own mind. Please, help me find a way to control my thoughts. The Zen master smiled and nodded knowingly. He reached into a bag beside him and handed Ravi a wooden bowl filled with water. Take this bowl, the Zen master said calmly, and go to the nearby river. Fill it with water, but be careful not to spill a single drop. Ravi was confused but did as he was told. He took the bowl and walked to the river, being meticulous in his movements to ensure that not even a drop was spilled. After filling the bowl, he walked back to the cave and handed it to the Zen master, who inspected it and smiled. The Zen master then said to Ravi, now, walk back to the river and empty the water back into it. But this time, make sure to focus only on the sensation of the water touching your hands and the sound of it hitting the river. Do not think about anything else. Once again, Ravi did as he was instructed, carefully focusing on the sensation and sound of the water. As he emptied the bowl into the river, he noticed that his mind had become calm, devoid of any unnecessary thoughts. Returning to the cave, Ravi eagerly shared his experience with the Zen master. Master, while I was pouring the water into the river, my mind was clear and free from overthinking. How did this happen? The Zen master replied, just as you focused all your attention on the water, you gave your mind a singular task to focus on. By doing so, you silence the constant chatter of your thoughts. This is the essence of controlling overthinking. Ravi was amazed by this simple yet profound realization. He thanked the Zen master for his guidance and wisdom, knowing that he now held the key to controlling his overthinking. From that day forward, Ravi practiced the art of focusing his mind on one task at a time. Whether it was pouring water into a bowl or completing daily chores, he made a conscious effort to be fully present in the moment. Gradually, RA6 found himself experiencing more peace and clarity of mind. The constant chatter of his thoughts no longer controlled him. Instead, he became the master of his own mind, with the ability to focus on what truly mattered. As time passed, RA6 became known as the village sage. Helping others who struggled with overthinking find their own path to peace and control. He would often share the story of his encounter with the Zen master, spreading the wisdom that had transformed his life. And so, the tale of Ravi, the overthinker turned sage, serves as a reminder to all of us that controlling overthinking is not about suppressing thoughts, but rather about training our minds to focus on the present moment. By doing so, we can find